Many textbooks tell young people today that birds are modified reptiles. Suppose, they say, millions of years ago, the scales of some reptiles began to fray along the edges. Eventually, they say, the frayed scales turned into feathers and birds were born. The elegance and beauty of the feather make this story hard to believe. Can sticking feathers on a lizard produce a peacock? The bird's feather is only a small part of the complete flying system of the bird. First, a bird needs a massive breast muscles for flight. In some birds, 30% of the body weight of the bird is breast muscle. By comparison, in humans, breast muscles are only about 1% of body weight. A bird also needs a very high metabolism and blood pressure to deliver the energy those muscles need for flight. Birds have a higher metabolism than any other creature, as well as the needed high blood pressure. Finally, as is well known, birds need light skeletons. The man-of-war bird has a wingspan of seven feet. However, its entire skeleton weighs only a few ounces, less than its feathers. Even the most clever rebuilding of a reptile cannot produce a bird. In fact, birds have very little in common with reptiles. The entire being of the bird, from body to brain, has been specially designed for flight by a creator who clearly knows everything there is to know about flight. <laughs>